to Shortcut, your shortcut to the very best in the British Short Film Festival. I'm Valeria Casas and I'm here once again at Proud Candom, ready to give you a quick glimpse of what Shortcut has in store for us today. What do you think about Shortcut so far? Uh, I think it's great. I think it's nice to see so many talented British uh, film directors and it's great to see what talent there is out there. So are you having fun here at Shortcuts tonight? Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm having lots of fun. Yeah. What do you think of it? Um, it's quite a nice venue, um, quite intimate. So would you recommend Shortcuts to people out there? Yeah, definitely. And I think the fact that it's free too is fantastic because uh, you never see enough short films these days. There aren't enough outlets for that kind of um, medium. Right, I'm next to the winner of March 2011 here in Shortcuts. It's James Sharp. Hi, how are you doing? I'm very, very well. How are you? Fine, I'm doing fine. Can you explain a little bit about what the film was about? What the film's about? Um, the film is uh, about a character called Charles Osborne who is trying to write his first novel um, and he, he's basically procrastinating and he ends up kind of, he tries to plan his work and his life using post-it notes uh, and ends up kind of spiralling out of control. Uh, I, I kind of, what I'm really interested in is sort of a kind of a mystery aspect to kind of filmmaking is allowing audiences to be drawn in by a mystery and when they leave the cinema or finish watching a short film for it to kind of stay with them and to be still be thinking about it. I find the best films that, that I enjoy the most are the ones that stay with me for days or weeks afterwards. Well my last question is yeah. would you do it again? Would you do another short movie? <laughs> um, I after I finished this short film because it was it was very hard and long and financially kind of difficult for me as well, um, paying for it on my credit card. It wasn't like a big budget, but it was just kind of hard. Um, I said I, w I wouldn't make any more short films after this because I, I kind of struggled to get funding and there's kind of been very little support for, you know, for me as well as kind of other filmmakers sort of around East Midlands and whatnot. Um, and I've kind of been concentrating on doing a feature film. That's kind of what I'm aiming towards and now. I'm writing my feature film as I have been for a while. and. Um, it's going well, but I'm still getting like little ideas for shorts and things now, and I'm wondering whether I should dip my toe back in and do a couple more, maybe. Yeah. So, how did you find it today? You enjoy shortcuts? How, what was the atmosphere like? Uh, it's always great to see uh, people gathering to watch movies, and it's it seems to be the way cinema is going now. Especially films that you make yourself is so hard to get into the cinema. But hey, to kick back with your mates, uh, have a glass, or Stein of something good and watch movies, yeah. especially what? with a great sound system like they have here is good. Yeah. What do you think about the films and the winner of this month's comp competition? Uh, the films that are shown here are good. They're good. They're good, and it's it's great to see people making them and having a play to an audience in a, in, I guess you could say, a festival atmosphere, which is good. Yeah. Um, what tip would you give to all those filmmakers out there? That are trying to make it in the industry. You got to make movies. Get a camera, any camera, that camera. You get your mobile phone. People are making movies and mobile phones now, and just make them over and over and over again. Keep getting better and better and better. And remember, to really make it as a filmmaker, you've got to have something to say and be able to say it as a visual storyteller. And that's what we're all looking for. Well, that was it for us today. Uh, stay tuned, don't forget to check us out in Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, in our website. And don't forget to bring your friends along. I mean, it's film fun for free. What else can you ask?